Color balancing is a common topic for photographers, where we're trying to get a true sense of what the color white should look like depending on the lighting conditions of the picture. If we look at the first picture here of the barbecue in the backyard, we can see that the color balance looks pretty normal. The three subsequent pictures were taken with different white balance settings and we can see that when the settings are incorrect, there's a color cast to these images. Two is quite orange, three is quite blue, and four is quite magenta or purple. Now Photoshop has some capabilities that let us correct this and we'll take a look at two of those right now. The first is the match color option. And we can use this to take the colors from one layer and try to match them automatically apply that to another layer, which is precisely what we want to do in this assignment. If I take my barbecue to layer, make this active, we would like to tell Photoshop, match this to number one as best as you can for me. To do this, we'll go to the image menu, choose adjustments, and then near the bottom, we can see here's match color. When we click on that, a dialog box comes up and we can see that the target is our barbecue onejpeg file. That's what's open right now. And we can see that it's the barbecue two layer. That's our target. Now, if we go towards the bottom, we can see the source for matching color right now is set to nothing. If we open this up, it's going to show us the three files. I've got a few other files open. We want to make sure we're in the same file. So that's barbecue onejpeg And then I can choose the layer I want to match to, which in this case, we want to match to our first image, which if we look in the thumbnails here is named layer zero. I probably could have come up with a better name than that. If we pick layer zero, we see the right thumbnail showing up here. And even without doing anything up here in these three sliders, luminance, color, intensity, and fade, we can see that there's been a pretty good match. We press OK, and we use Control Z to just toggle between the before, quite warm and orange, and after. That's number two. We could do the same thing with barbecue three. I'm going to go image, adjustments, match color, make sure I choose the same source file. I'm going to choose my original layer. We can see it does a, a reasonable job. Now, if I, if I compare these two, one and two, they're quite similar. One and three, we still see this is looking a little bit more yellow than this. The top of the barbecue is a good place to compare because it's almost white and we can see the difference between those white tones. Our second uh, way that we can match color, or to, I guess, change the color balance is under Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. This is a tricky tool to work with and you're going to have to spend some time fiddling with it, but it gives us a fine control over balancing the, the colors in a, a particular layer. We can see before we change any of these sliders, and these are sort of component opposites. In every picture, there's some red tones Opposites, those are cyan tones, and we can push the emphasis one way or another, and we can see how that changes. It cools down the picture or warms up the picture. And along the bottom, we've got three radio buttons, shadows, midtones, and highlights. And this is changing sort of which pixels selectively are going to be changed. Now, as a quick hard and fast rule, if you can see sort of what color is more prominent, we want to move the slider away from that color. And if I'm looking in this image, I'm thinking in the highlights, it's a little bit too yellow. So I'm going to move it a little bit towards the blue. We need to be careful about doing too much. As if you go too far in one direction very quickly, you can see that tones similar to number four are starting to come through again. So I'd maybe pick something like this. I might push the cyan a little bit as well. And I'm going to think actually that's not working for me. So we're going to come back. And part of this assignment is just fiddling with these sliders, reacting to what you see, and trying the very best you can to match. Now, if I've made some adjustments to highlights, I'm going to switch over to midtones and probably do the same sort of thing. I'll maybe just play with these sliders, go each way, and see if one seems to help the picture a little bit more or a little bit less. And then lastly, with shadows, I'm going to do the same thing. There is no real easy way to do this. This is an art. People spend a lot of time. They can get quite good at this. Uh, in this assignment, we just want to get reasonably close. So if we look at one, two, and three, we can still see some difference in three, but probably this is close enough. Start with match color and then use the color balance tool moving through shadows, midtones, and highlights to do the best you can. And uh, that'll be a good introduction to color balancing.